Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be episode one of my newest building series, Building the Citadel in Lego. I'm not sure how long this series is going to take or how many videos it's going to comprise of, but my plan is to build the Citadel from season three of The Clone Wars, the three episode arc where we see Anakin, Obi-Wan, Ahsoka, Rex, Cody, Fives, Echo, the whole crew infiltrate the Citadel Tower and free Evan Peel and unfortunately Captain Tarkin. This is gonna be a passion project for myself. It's not probably going to be displayed at any conventions unless I really, really like how it looks and I can keep it together until August of this year, but I'm going to document my process of building this mock all the way from the start to the end. I'm super excited to get into another series, so without any further delay, let's jump right into it. So taking a look at these plans that I drew up for this, one of the reasons that I'm so excited about this build is just the amount of ideas that I have for it. I've been thinking about this a lot and trying to include as many scenes from the Citadel arc as I can all in this one mock, but obviously just the main focus from the front view is that huge Citadel Tower, and I drew in some searchlights as well. And I have an idea that I want to try out for those where they will actually swivel with a motor function. So I'm really excited to try and work with that. And then just moving down to the rock face. I'm not exactly sure how I want to do the rock work on this mock. I have some ideas that I want to mess around with, and I'll make a few mock ups of just kind of smaller versions and see what looks best on a larger scale. And then moving over to the right, we have the pipeline and electro mines area. This is the ascent where they climb up the rock face. And to the right of that is going to be the landing zone. This I'm probably not going to actually build big enough to land the shuttle. That was my original idea, but I think just because of the size of this mock, it isn't really going to work out that way. So I think what I'm going to do is just have all the figures kind of walking up to the lookout point. I kind of just drew this in like an exaggerated 3D version to kind of show the depths of the sides. Obviously at the bottom is the lava and it's just going to act as a border trim kind of going around the bottom. And I want to have flickering lights in this as well, probably use some translucent yellow pieces. And then over all the way towards the left is going to be the extraction zone. So I'm going to have the ascension cable going from the rock in the middle of the lava to kind of where they're standing, that little pathway there. And then obviously we're gonna have the main characters, some of them crawling across the extension cables, and then some of them maybe already on the rock. And then I'm thinking of having some staps too, flying around, maybe even some crab droids crawling out of the lava. Just kind of put as many scenes into one as I can. That's kind of my main goal with this mock is to just cram as many different scenes all into the same build. And then going over to the back, Got the same kind of style with the exaggerated 3D, and then there's this weird building that I'm not sure exactly how I want to tackle, but it kind of is sitting right up above the landing pad, which is where the shuttle is going to be. Obviously, there's those turrets that, unfortunately, the commando droids will use to blow up the shuttle and echo, and then there's some cargo crates and stuff like that. I'll kind of figure out the layout as well as just how many are going to fit in the size once I kind of get to that stage. And then below that is going to be the interior of the base. For now, I just kind of sketched in these rough drafts. First one, which is the top left, which is probably honestly going to be on the bottom level, but the slicing security doors, this is that scene where Obi-Wan and Evan Peel are taking some of their clone troopers up the ventilation shaft and all of the security hatches start to close and one of the clones doesn't make it in time and he unfortunately gets cut in half. So this I want to actually have the doors open and close with some motor functions and then going to the right of that, I just put hallway door for this one. This I'm not entirely sure what it's gonna be. It could just be one of the scenes that we see kind of all of the main characters getting surrounded and attacked by the commando droids. I think that's probably the direction that I'm gonna go for on that one and then below that is a hallway going into the distance so i'll see how that works if i can't come up with a design that i really like then i'll probably ditch this idea and go for something else but that's my idea so far and then to the left of that is going to be the prison block this is probably just going to be the hallway with the red kind of lighting and then inside is going to be where evan peel is being held and then it's going to be like anakin obi-wan breaking him out and all that kind of stuff so 
that is my idea for this mock. There's so many different little scenes that I can include in this, and there's so many power functions and different lighting things, and that's really what drew me to this idea, and I'm super excited to get started. So enough talking, let's get to building. So the first thing I did was I started by putting down all of the gray base plates and originally I wanted to have this be a four gray base plate mock but I quickly realized that that was just not going to be big enough for the plans that I had so I went ahead and added on these two here at the end which basically now gives me enough space to have the extraction zone over there. I think it's definitely deep enough now that I can have the kind of scenes that I want to have on top of the mock and then obviously that landing pad behind those and then the main big citadel tower is going to be right in the front. That's what this kind of weird sticking out section is going to be representing right here. And then over all the way on the right, there's a little bit of space for the lava. And then that kind of continues all the way around the muck. And then to the left is going to be the extraction zone. So I'm not sure if I want to have all of this open space just be lava or if I want to add in other scenes or islands or something like that. So. I'll kind of think about that, but I'll cross that bridge when I get there. For right now, I think this is a good setup. I think it's definitely enough space to do what I wanted. So with this setup, I'm going to turn my attention to some of the more technical aspects of this mock. So as I mentioned earlier, I wanted the searchlight to have a motion pattern, which is basically just a tracing pattern so that it looks like they are actually looking around. And basically this is what I came up with. Obviously this is just a rough draft. This is not what it's going to look like in the final product, but I had this idea that I wanted to try out, which is basically using some rods and some worm gears. And then over here, there are two axes this is obviously the up and down axis. And then over here, it's on a turntable, which is the side to side horizontal axis. And then on the back here, I attached this little bar piece into this one by two modified plate, and it just sits inside this Technic piece. So basically whenever this Technic piece is rotating around in a circle, it's pushing that piece in a circular motion on the two axes which then gives you that kind of searchlight 
motion pattern, which I'm really happy with. And I'm not entirely sure how I want to incorporate this into the side of the tower. Obviously, this is a pretty big assembly. And once I get up to the top, it's probably going to have to get shrunken down a little bit. But for now, I'm really happy with the motion that I was able to capture with this first design. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up episode one of building the Citadel in Lego. This week, there wasn't really all that much that I could do. I did a lot of like planning work and then I set up some of the stuff for the actual layout of the mock and then obviously worked on that searchlight. So I think the next episode, I'm not sure when it's gonna be, it's probably gonna be another two weeks or so. I'm gonna try and make a bunch of Bricklink orders, get in some pieces, start hopefully getting some lights as well. I'm working with a few different companies to hopefully get some sponsorships going for the series. So there's going to be a lot of stuff going on in the next video, but I think this was a pretty decent start for this video. And if you guys liked it, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the future Citadel progress. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.